How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with a very important video for Dragon Ball Fighters, as we're going to be talking about the upcoming balance patch that they revealed alongside with the new DLC trailers for Goku base form and Vegeta base form. Now right away when I show you the character sheet for who they plan on addressing, you're going to notice that this is a massive list. So massive that only a few characters are being excluded from this list, and those characters actually have a very good reason for not being on. Now before we talk about this patch, I want to talk about the last patch in the game, the one that addressed Adult Gohan, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and Android 16. Now of course if you were playing the game during that time and keeping up with everything, you remember that people were complaining about the size of the patch, it didn't hit all the characters we were hoping for, it was mostly things like small tweaks and bug fixes, and only a few characters really got hurt, that being the three that I just mentioned before, but looking back you really Really have to appreciate what that patch did for those three characters. Vegeta's assist got tweaked so that it wasn't the end-all be-all best assist you could ever ask for in the game. It went from locking you down whenever you blocked full stop to allowing you to reflect in the middle of it and super dash out of it, giving you options on defense, which appears to be what they were really going for with that patch, as they also took a look at Android 16 and how whenever he touched you he could get a free hard knockdown, allowing for some pretty devastating mix-ups, leading to Android 16 being very easy to pick up a kill with. And they also addressed Adult Gohan's ability to lock you down with his leg loops to keep you blocking for an extensive amount of time. Looking back, the patch overall was great for the health of the game in the long run. The reason I bring this up is it gives me confidence that they know what's good for the game and what's good for the game in the long run. So even though they are tackling way more characters in this patch, I'm hoping that they'll be able to achieve similar great results with this. But let's get back to the here and now and the present with this list of characters that we have on here. So right away, let's talk about who's not on here because that actually matters a lot. So you'll notice that from this list, characters that are missing are super Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Goku Black, and Adult Gohan. Because as revealed in that stream, those four characters are what they plan to be balancing the entire game around. They want to be able to bring every character in the game down to that level of being good. And this is something that I'm super happy to hear because it's something I've believed for a long time. I've always stood by the fact that I think Goku Black is one of the best balanced characters in Dragon Ball Fighters. He has a lot going for him, but he also has weaknesses and he can't just run you over. And while I never really thought about it too much, I guess the Super Saiyan versions of Goku and Vegeta also exemplify that point. They have some great utility and some reasons to be on teams, but they also don't excel too much in any area to be considered broken. Adult Gohan is definitely the character most are going to raise their eyebrows at being perfectly balanced, but again, I think you have to think about utility. While he is extremely good when he's on the field, his supers really don't bring too much to a team, so I think that does put him on the same level. And even if he is a little better, it's not like he's so much better that it's impossible to picture him on the same tier with these guys. So now that we know what they're aiming for with this patch, which is to bring everybody into this center area of being good, we can start to get a good idea of what we're looking at here in terms of which characters are getting buffs and which are getting nerfs. And they did make sure to point out that they want to make sure to put more buffs in the game than nerfs. Like I said, they don't want to take anything away from a character because, you know, every character is somebody's favorite character. So you never want to take something completely away from them and just make the game unfun for a lot of people. Now I'm going to ask that you please don't think about this tier list uh, too much. It's not really a tier list per se um, or my exact opinion on the game, but it does have the four middle characters all laid out. And then I have it in rows, which how much I think the community or the game would probably need to adjust in order for these characters to get on the same level. So while it is serving as a tier list, I really didn't put too much thought into the exact positioning. So there's really no, like I would probably change a lot about this if I was going for exact perfect opinions on the tier list, but this is mostly just being used for a helping hand tool to see where I think most of the cast lies in relation to these four. Now let's start with something that probably catches your eyes right away, Android 16 being up there. I'll fully admit, I don't even know where Android 16 goes anymore. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised they didn't put him in the four with these guys. After the nerf, I feel like Android 16 has definitely still been good, but definitely doesn't have all of the tools of a top tier character, so he's really not running too rampant. I'm not sure why they would nerf him, uh, but he's also been able to hold his own at that level, so I don't really think he needs any buffs either. So I'm super confused to see Android 16 on the list. He's the only character character that I think that about, so I just kind of dropped him right on top, right next to him, uh, because I didn't know what else to do for him. Let me know your thoughts on Android 16 and whether he's getting buffed or nerfed in this patch. But yeah, definitely the most confusing case for me. Okay, so above that we have Gotenks, which I think is definitely better than these four. His assist is super good lockdown, lots of good utility, very, very good, very, very good in that utility front. I cannot under I cannot stress that enough. Gotenks brings so much utility to a team, and he's just somebody that uh, has some great mix-up as well. Uh, Gotenks is shown to be very very good in tournaments and has started getting a lot of wins under his belt. So I think they're definitely going to have to do something to bring him down to that level. Much like Gotenks getting brought down, Bardock is also 
Somebody that I have a lot of experience with, and he does a lot on offense. He's a fantastic point character, and uh, gets a lot of good mix-ups. Probably needs to be tuned, toned down a little. And I say that as somebody that really enjoys Bardock and what he's able to do. And then, of course, you have Cell and Kid Buu. I feel like these two are very obvious. Obviously, they're going to be ones that everybody's looking to get toned down, because there is a lot of space between them and somebody like Goku Black and Goku Super Saiyan. But the side of the tier list that I'm sure more people are concerned with is the buffs, which are there are a lot. I feel like when I was making this tier list, I felt like it was already pretty consolidated, but consolidated in a way that they were just below enough, these four, that they could all use some good buffs. So we'll look at the first major grouping of people where I have TN21, Fusamasu, Hit, Trunks, Android 18, and Piccolo. Now, like I said, you could argue the specifics on where these characters should go. I'm not really going to get into that too much. I just put them here because they all have some tournament experience, have been shown to get some good results, uh, but have been dropped off recently, such as Hit and 18, while you do have Piccolo and 21, which are really only being carried by a certain few players. Tien has made big waves and is probably going to get picked up more and more, especially if, like I'm predicting, he is going to be one of the characters to receive buffs. He does insane damage and is really useful for making sure your opponent loses a character early. And Yuzumasu has just got picked up by Sonic Fox, so he's another one of the characters being explored and getting some wins right now as we speak. Right under this group of people, we have the next group, Majin Buu Yamcha, Captain Ginyu, Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta, and Vegito Blue. These are characters that require a bit more work to get the most out of and do not have too many people uh, out there making waves. Obviously, I feel like Yamcha probably could be moved up a bit. Like I said, I couldn't really get the specifics. I wanted to make sure I could keep this all on screen. Right under them, I have Gohan, Broly, and Krillin. Just really characters that can do some really decent damage and do some really decent stuff, but suffer one way or another. Obviously, Gohan and Krillin are very short. Thus, their limbs reflect that, and it can be kind of hard for them to move around. And then, of course, below that, we have the bottom of the bottom barrel. We have Nappa, Frieza, and Beerus. Like I said, it's not like they're all exactly equal, but in order to keep this simple and clean, uh, we do have to kind of fit them all on that same slot. So those are the characters way down at the bottom that are going to need the biggest amount of nerfs to get them up to this level. Like I said, there is a lot of ways they could go about this. The middle tier Goku Black, Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan, either they're very good on their own, they're kind of good on their own, or they bring a lot of utility to the team. Uh, down here, these are examples of characters that really struggle to do any of that. Uh, Nappa needs some good assist in order to get a Sideman down. After that, he becomes okay. Once he gets the Sideman down, he's fine. Uh, but when he doesn't have that Cyberman, he struggles a lot. His assist is really basic. Same goes for Frieza. And Beerus's assist is also really basic. And Beerus has a lot of normals that just really suck to use. And then as you move up the ladder, it does get less severe than that case. But the same pretty much goes for everybody. They could use some quality of life changes, some buffs here and there. And I think it would be pretty easy to get everybody into that tier. Because I'm seeing a lot of characters here that just need a few tweaks here. Like Piccolo, if you you gave him a way to get meterless knockdown outside of the corner, I think that would be an insta buff for Piccolo. I think that would be something a lot of Piccolo players would love. And just things like that for all the characters. Hit, while very good early in the game, has kind of been figured out now and just needs to get a bit better in order to get more use out of him. But I could go character by character and take up a lot of time, but I really don't feel that is too necessary as we know they're going to get tweaked and it's only a matter of time until we see the results. How much time is still something we don't know. It's probably going to be dropping after EVO because they wouldn't want to risk messing with the meta while the biggest tournament of the year is right around the corner. Definitely not worth doing, uh, sending the pros into that kind of situation. And they're probably going to want to drop this with Goku and Vegeta or sometime around there, which is going to be a little after EVO, probably around August 10th through 20th. Somewhere around there is where I'd place my bet to see this balance patch and those characters. But this is one of those times where I really am going to have to ask you to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Obviously, like I said, please, please don't get caught up in the specifics of this tier list. You could argue it, I, I definitely I could argue it, and this is something that I made, uh, but I, I, wasn't make, I wasn't making this to show specific character slots. I'm more interested in hearing your thoughts on where you think they land in terms of how much buffs they need to get to this holy grail of the middle area here. You gotta keep in mind, we're aiming for Goku Black. That's, that's the mark right there, in my opinion. You wanna get every character as good as Goku Black. For some characters, it will take nerfs. For others, it's going to take some buffs. I feel for most of the cast, it's going to be buffs. Like they said, more buffs than nerfs. If you're a player that mains a certain type of character, especially one that's underplayed, and you have some thoughts right now, I would love to hear them. Like Vegeta Blue players, what are your thoughts on how he could be a bit better? Uh, man, Broly players, what do you think? Obviously, Gohan players probably just want a way to get a better way to get to that big damage. He already has big damage. He just needs some better ways to get into it. Ginyu players, especially, let me know, man. I'm, I'm super interested in, in 
ways that Ginyu could get buffed. That'd be sweet. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. And while you're down in the comments, if you like this video and want to see other videos like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Dato Doya. I'll see you in the next video.